We started the band in the basement of a record store and we, we just loved rock and roll so much that we wanted to play music. We, we, did, we didn't have any idea of, of you know, making records or, or uh, getting famous or, or making a career out of it. It was just something we loved to do. And uh, that's, that's why we were, had a record store, you know. Someone told me that you gone astray. What am I supposed to say? Shouldn't I? At first we were just trying to you know, make music to please ourselves. We weren't trying to go anywhere with it. It was just something we were doing for fun. And, and we still do it for fun. We were just kind of like rolling with it, you know. We, weren't, we still weren't expecting to get on the radio. There was a radio station here in Los Angeles called K-Rock. Radio DJ named Rodney Bingenheimer started playing our, our record. And uh, there was one song called Anything Anything that I guess you know, the phones lit up as they say. I'll give you candy, give you diamonds, give you pills, give you anything you want. Hundred dollar bills. I'll even let you hear the songs I want to sing. I'll give you anything, anything, anything. And they started playing it on the radio all the time and we found out about it back, back east and we came out for a vacation and kind of just ended up staying here. And, and it turned into a, you know, a profession. Oh, oh, pretty much overnight. I write all the songs, and, and, and most of them are just from out of my head and, and, and from out of my personal experiences or, or observances. And so that was based on, you know, a teenage wedding gone wrong. It's a totally true story and, and not a happy ending. But I guess whatever the, the emotion behind it was kind of universal. I've had countless people tell me you know that's my song you know that's 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 about me I wish I could figure out how to do that like you know if there was a formula or something so because I would I would do it again and again and again when we broke up in in the 90s uh, there was a number of reasons our career trajectory kind of like went, you know, it wasn't boom, it wasn't, but it wasn't going up anymore, you know. When VH1 came to all our, our doors, I don't think any of us had any second thoughts about getting back together. It's not like we, when we broke up, we were all mad at each other or we hated each other or anything. And it was going to be one night only kind of a thing. And we did it and it was, it was amazing. And then we did, a, uh, we were invited to do a concert. The response was so overwhelmingly positive that we were like, well, let's, let's keep doing it. She roars, she roars, she roars, she roars. It's really great to be asked to be part of the Kings. Our bass players had uh, season tickets for 20 years for the Kings. It's, it's great to be a part of, 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 you know, a great team. It's exciting and wonderful and, and I can't thank you guys enough for asking us.